how can I bring Bluetooth audio into my production? There must be a way. I know. Hi, I'm Dr. Elo, your content creation doctor. Have you ever wanted to bring Bluetooth audio into your production? If you have a Zoom PodTrack P4, all you need is the BTA2 from Zoom. And I'm going to show you how to bring audio into this device. All right, let's get started. All right, so now that we have bought our Zoom um, BTA2 device, so this is how it looks, right? It has a tool TRRS. One is a 2.5, another one's a 3.5 millimeter, which is the standard. Once you have this, all you gotta do is connect it to your Zoom PodTrack P4, right? And after that, you're gonna press this button right here until it starts flashing, right? Starts flashing, you go to your cell phone, look for it, here it is, BTA2, and it's automatically connected. Pretty cool. And now you can bring audio to the Bluetooth to the Zoom PodTrack P4, which is really phenomenal. And right now I'll put a sample of how does it sound um, when you're recording on the device uh, through Bluetooth. And it's recording the call right now. Hello, Elo. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Yeah, I'm just chilling. It's uh, it's, it's Sunday evening. Nice. How is my you... sound right now? Yeah, it's it's okay. It's maybe a little bit. A, I don't know, but maybe a little bit of echo. Oh, you got a little bit of echo on your side. Okay, okay. That's probably because I have uh, one of my speakers on. Let me turn that off. Yep. Hopefully that works. Maybe that sounds better. That sounds better. Here we go. All right, yeah, so, I can't hear myself anymore. so I'm using the C on uh, the Zoom P4, the PodTrack P4 with the BTA2, which you also have. And I'm recording yep. the call right now to see how does it sound. And uh, I know that it was a little, it had a little bit of echo on your side, but it doesn't have any echo right now, right? No, not at all. It sounds really good. Awesome. We can actually um, do a Zoom to Zoom call. <laughs> Bad joke. Bad joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's confusing when they have two companies with the same name. I know, right? So it should be a Zoom audio call. But um, it sounds really cool from your side, at least. It, I don't have any lag on it right now, which is, how, how about you? Do you hear anything, like, laggy or how can you tell? But, you know. No, no I'd say it's no no worse than a normal WhatsApp call. All right. So it's, uh, it's all good. Hey, Elo, Elo. Yeah. I found something. Listen to this. Listen to this. Go create content, yeah. guys. Go create content. Yeah. Go create content. The chicken, the chicken says, go create. Ah, that's funny. Yeah, I have my chicken, but it's in the back. So if I walk away, I will probably mess this call up. It's pretty cool, man. I actually like it a lot. As you say, the, con the convenience of being able to bring in by Bluetooth, it just means you can use or bring in any anything on your phone. Yeah, you can actually do music as well. You can do on uh, Spotify and use Epidemic Sound or, or you know, for your royalty-free preference, you can put music through the phone and or through a tablet, and just put it in there and just you know, go with the flow. Yeah, and you could you could you could even record a clip to your phone, and then you know if you wanted to do a bit of prepared content or something, and then you could bring it in that way as well. Ooh, like a snippet. Yeah, could do. Or or if you have or if you wanted, like you say, to bring you can you can bring in a sound file or you know you can record some audio you can bring it into the you can bring it into a pod track and then you can obviously store it on your pod track and then you could use it on one of the preset buttons yeah and it might be compatible with a bunch of other stuff too as well the only drawback that i see here is that uh basically the rocaster pro brings it automatically but if it's the rocaster pro it is the, the, king the, king in the north. North. right i gotta say um it's 200 dollars more yeah, exactly. So here is an option where you can get with this device right here with $50. You can actually have it and have the same functionality. It's like a Rodecaster Pro on the go. So it's a phenomenal um, sound too. It's a port it's, For me, I think it's for portability. As you say, the pod track itself is portable. But to then not have to be bothered with additional wires and just putting the adapter and being able to take that anywhere you want with you. And yeah. then, you know, try to, try to reduce the amount of equipment you have to 
take around with you. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It is. It is an amazing uh, tool, and um, you can actually podcast in the forest if you want to. Just you know, if you have signal, you have somebody call in, have that conversation, and that's it. And the functionality of this, it's rated C for convenience. Let's put it that way. Yeah, definitely. And P and P for portable. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it, man. Okay, and um, we'll okay. we'll catch you later. Yeah, speak soon. Cheers, mate. Bye. Later. All right, guys. So to recap, it's better than a phone cable. It's great for pulling any audio source. The latency on this device is zero to none. Freeze your phone from using your USB-C or lightning cable. So you'll be able to charge your phone while you're doing your interview right it's a shame that it's not included um you know it's it's 50 dollars more and for people that are podcasting on a budget which this is uh 200 and some dollars or 195 it depends on where you get it it's a great device but it will be great it will have this functionality included uh, it's definitely worth it it's worth it for me at least the question is do you really need it are you doing interviews via phone right or, or do you want to bring any royalty free music for your streams or to your videos via that device right is it expensive for what it is that's something for you to consider the good thing is that you can forget the cables or adapters you can use it for apps like clubhouse you can bring clubhouse audios into here or something similar right you can do audio snippets bring guests all you need for for bringing guests is them to have a good signal you to have a good signal as well right so you can bring them through your through your cell phone to be very honest um the the pairing experience of this it was really really easy it was simple you just hit this button right here wait till it blink white and once it was blue it was connected to your cell phone or to your device whatever device you're using right the good thing is it is small it's portable but with that being said you can lose it really quickly it uh you can lose it really fast because it's that small so i keep mine in on a device like this one right i keep mine in one of these pelican cases from bnh i store it here with this thing as well so that's the way that I'm sure that I'm not going to lose it. All right, guys. So I appreciate you guys being here and watching this video. Uh, thank you very much to Andy Dawson from Go Create Content for helping me out with the phone call and with a couple of specs, knowing that he knows a lot about this device as well because he owns one. So thank you very much. This is Dr. Ulo out. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm. So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go 